Welcome to Wendy's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be cooking macaroni and cheese. Now, uh, first of all, I've um, chopped, finely chopped an onion and I'm cooking it in a couple of tablespoons of butter. I'm going to make a roux, which is made with butter and flour for the cheese, the base for the cheese sauce. Okay, it's important that you use the same weight of the, of the butter as you have with the flour. So, to make a nice smooth sauce. Okay, I'm going to the heat up a little bit, get that on its way. You don't want to overcook the onion, you just want to um, make it nice and soft. You don't want it to go brown. So, and it's a nice transparent colour that's when you know that it's done. Right, here I have some flour, so I'm going to put the flour in next. So we'll make our roux. I might change to a fork here. Mix it around like this. Like that. All coming together here. Mac and cheese was a favourite of mine when I was a child and now it's my son's favourite. Right, now we want to slowly add some milk to the roux. Bit by bit. Milk here. You can gauge how much you use. It's important to keep stirring this. waiting for the, um, the sauce to come together. Over here I have, it out for a minute, I have some cooked macaroni. So you just want to cook it in some salted boiling water for a couple of minutes um, just so that it's tender. And to stop it sticking together just pop in a couple of drops of oil. Mm. We have that. We're going to add to it a little bit later. Now you can put some anything you like into the sauce. You can put add I've only put onion at this stage because I'm going to put my toppings on at the end. But you could add to it mushrooms, tomatoes, anything you like really, bacon. Use a little bit more milk. It's really nice on a cold winter day. depending on how many people will be joining you. you just make as much sauce as you need. Just the heat up a little bit. It doesn't take quite as long. Just put on a, a low to medium heat. So it doesn't burn, it's important to keep stirring, otherwise it will stick to the bottom of the saucepan. Put 
a great cooking sauce this way is if you find that it's not thick enough you can mix a little bit of cornmeal with some water together or milk and thicken it up or you can thin it out if it's too thick you can thin it out with a little bit of milk so I really can't go wrong and now I think we might add the cheese so I've got some, some grated cheese here I've got about a cup and a half of grated cheese
here we go. So it's all ready to go in the oven now. So we will um, just bake it in the oven until it is nice and heated through and we'll see you shortly.